blessed with three universities uh, in the neighbourhood and uh, up the hill, as I think of it, is uh, Leicester University and obviously as Mark just was talking about the moon, uh, Leicester University were a key partner uh, making sure that all happened uh, as part of British Science Week. But I'm also delighted that uh, the University of Leicester are partnering with us on this installation as well. So would you welcome Paul Boyle. Thank you very much, David. Uh, it's fantastic to be here this evening and have the opportunity to reflect on this exhibition. I've seen pictures of it on the web, I've looked at it before, and of course we, we thought a lot about it as we were invited to be part of this project. But I think seeing it in reality, and as David has already pointed out, thinking about those individual pieces of clothes and shoes and other things is really terribly moving. Um, and that's exactly what it's designed to be, of course, to really remind us that we sometimes forget, I think, that there are refugees really very close to us now in our community. Many of us forget that. Many of us forget that throughout Europe, we have some very serious issues with refugees and asylum seekers. I think sometimes the media doesn't portray that as much as you might imagine, given what's going on. And it's these sorts of artistic contributions that can bring it back to us, remind us what is actually happening. Not only is it a reminder, I think what we also have to think hard about is how do we then make a difference? What does it do to actually change the way we think and act? And can we make a contribution for all of those people whose lives are decimated through persecution, persecution through poverty, through war and other, other events? Um, certainly at the university, this is a major part of our thinking. We've just put ourselves forward uh, to be a university of sanctuary. And that's meant taking a whole series of practical steps to try and achieve that, including offering free English language training to all the refugees and asylum seekers who wish to take that up, including offering places on some of our undergraduate programs, including putting a whole range of events on over the summer to, again, as this exhibition is managing to achieve, draw our attention to some of these issues. And if I think about how for our institution this is particularly pertinent, if we think about the lives of some of the people who are represented here uh, by this particular exhibition, it takes me back, funnily enough, this year is particularly appropriate because it takes me back to the very founding of our university. Our university was founded 100 years ago on Remembrance Day in 1918. People, families in this city came together to put money into a bank account to establish a university. And the reason they did that was it was a time of difficulty. It was a time for families where many had lost their young ones. And instead of simply putting up a wonderful memorial, which they did in Victoria Park, this university, as far as we know, was unique, certainly in the UK, and one of only two places in the world that decided to establish a living legacy to World War I, to think about the suffering that had gone on and what we might do to move ourselves forward. What might we provide for the young education or the education of young generations of the future. So our university was established at a particularly difficult time to be a living legacy. And our motto, ut vitam habiant, is that they may have life. And we think hard about that all the time as we conduct our activities at the University of Leicester. And this exhibition really brings it back to me. It makes me think about the sorts of things that we as a university can do today, not just 100 years ago. What can we do today to help some of those groups that are really suffering. There's another reason why it's particularly pertinent. Some of you will know, of course, we have lots of buildings on our campus named after the Attenborough family. Fred Attenborough uh, did my job, or was in my role, many years ago now in the 30s and 40s. And in World War II, they fostered uh, two refugees uh, as part of their activity in the university. So two refugees came and lived with David, uh, John, and Richard Attenborough on our campus and this was a real statement, I think, from the university, from the vice chancellor at the time, uh, that we really do want to do our best for those sorts of communities who are suffering. So for both those reasons, this is a really particularly pertinent uh, display. And, and we really welcome the fact that our partners, DNU, the city, Outreach and others, uh, the cathedral, of course, have come together and really tried to bring this to the whole of the public. Uh, a lot of people have mentioned the moon that was hanging, another suspended a piece of artwork that attracted huge numbers of people into the cathedral. I have every faith that this will also attract very large numbers, as it, as it should, to 
to remind us and to bring us back to some of the suffering that these people have, have had to endure. So thank you very much indeed to the various groups that have been involved in this.